that shirt. Personally, I think it is bathroom wallpaper from Florida. <laughs> from Florida. <laughs> and now our latest news flash. And what news? The world-famous stage and screen star Barbara Jenkins is coming out of her three-year self-imposed seclusion following her husband's tragic death. This will be thrilling news for her millions of fans. No one has come even close hey. to the kind of adulation... How is playing poker or watching the silly box? Dealer raises the ante and minimum bet to a thousand francs. Okay. I'll open. And one thousand more. Pass. Live now, pay later. American Express philosophy. Stick. Uh, duty before pleasure. Excuse him why. Excuse him why. Always when he's winning. Hi, honey. I'm sorry about this. It took longer than I thought. You know the French. You're French. A lot of words. Well, well, it's partly my show. I can't just leave. But, Tom, you were supposed to be here over an hour ago. What's that racket? Racket? What racket? Oh, it's just the office. Ottaviani is still giving his briefing, you know, about the security plans for uh, Barbara... Uh, what's her name? You know, she's coming tomorrow. Well, you know Ottavioni, you know, he doesn't know the meaning of the word brief. Will you be here soon? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah. But Tom, darling. Shoot. All right. Ah, at last. Now, where were we? Now, money back. Okay. Okay. Pick up your car. Inspector Ottavioni's office. Hello, this is Carol. Oh, Carol, hi. No, Tom's not here. And Ottavioni? Ottavioni left hours ago. Oh, I see. Thank you. Mm. Mireille, you get it. I'm busy. But I am all wet. If this is Jacobi, he is fired. Inspector Ottovioni. Hello? Yeah, this is Carol. I'm sorry to bother you, Inspector, but I'd like to talk to Tom. Tom? Uh, Tom. Yeah, I just spoke to him. He said he was with you. Uh, he's in the can. I'll hold. It might take a while. He had a big lunch. Son of a bitch. Man. Anybody curious? 
No. Not that curious. I'll see you. Flush. Oh, Bit of pleasure, gentlemen. If it's bad news, I'm not interested. If it's good news, oh, it's you. We're putting on our coats, Mr. Lepsky, and we're starving. Twelve hours is a long time, redoing reports, making order out of chaos. One of these days, I swear, Mr. Lepsky. Don't swear, Jenny dear, and don't forget who pays your check. And while you're at it, get it off my desk. Get it off! I don't know what you mean. That's better. Now what can I do for you? Mr. Woodward called from Philadelphia. The company has insured Barbara Jenkins Emerald for $5 million. He wants you to go to her hotel tonight to look at the suite she'll be in. I said yes for Not you because tonight. he signs your check. Mr. Lipsky. Ma, uh, uh, all right, all right. Well, you can do. Come on. <laughs> My poor darling, you're dead tired. What you need is a warm bath and a cold drink. today in Ottaviani's office during the briefing he wants me to stay close to Barbara Jenkins which means you and I check into the majestic tonight so I told him listen pal if you want to talk the night away that's your business I got better things to do with mine he's probably still at it honey could you pass me a towel Nice pants. Something wrong? One year, Levski. One year tonight. Of waiting for a third red snoop to close every third red coffee on the Côte d'Azur. Hey, I can explain. Can you guess what you can do with your explanation? You know what I really would like for my anniversary present? A convincing lie. A simple lie. With a little flair, a little imagination, a little class for once. Happy anniversary, Levski, and screw you. Carol! 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 Man! Jenny, I had a feeling I'd catch you still at it. What are you doing working these kind of hours, damn it? You're taking tomorrow off and that's an order. Of course that's the only reason I called. No, really. Well, I mean, it's nothing I uh, can't handle myself. Actually, I have a little bit of a problem. Very chic. Given the hour and the budget, I'd say it's a minor miracle. I'm sure it is. Only I'm supposed to protect Barbara Jenkins, not serve her dinner. I think my nephew was very kind to lend it to a perfect stranger. Thank you for the perfect. Who is he anyway? Oh, he's a wonderful young man. A fine husband, a devoted father. And a head waiter. And a head waiter. Guys playing music for a mortuary, prelude to death at dawn. How about a little oomph? Come on. You work 40 years just to get a pension, just so you can stay alive. And then you wish you were back at work. What a life! <laughs> Where did you do all this work? Just a tad for me, see you play. Merci. Oh, no more for my husband. He drinks to get in a good mood, but it never works. He looks oh. after me. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Blasted hotel! Bunch of bureaucrats! What do I have to do to get some respect from here? Take out my checkbook! Got a riddle for you, boy. Yes, sir. What's the difference between a can I pay and an inner tube? Well, uh, I don't know, sir. Neither do I. Garçon. Just a tad for me, see we'll play. Merci. Excuse me, dear lady. Do I detect a New England accent? Why, yes, Vermont. Moonlight in Vermont. It is so beautiful. Extremely amusing. The first time, yes. Sort of loses its sparkle after 40 years. Well, you haven't lost yours. Every time Donnie would open a new restaurant, he'd give me a little something. Kansas City, Dallas, Boston, Martha's Vineyard. You're the loveliest map of America I've ever seen, madam. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you doing here? Boss's orders. Me too. Listen, Barbara Jenkins can screw up my schedule. I'm supposed to be at the docks at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Another yacht break in? No, a buddy of mine, a fisherman. You bring in some fresh loup de mer, snapper for you, fresh off the boat. I was going to do them on a bed of fennel sticks marinated in merlot. And then I was going hey, to... Hey, spare me. I've heard this recipe before. Uh, listen, about Carol's phone call, I tried. Hey, so did I. Forget it. Uh, Inspector, maybe we should start going over the hotel. I had a look at the floor plan. Real maze. Tunnels, ducts, corridors. Good, Jacoby. Good. You get started. Going undercover? What do you mean, undercover? Young man, do you suppose you could stop the chit chat long enough to take our orders? We're dying of thirst over by the bandstand. <laughs> <laughs> Hubert, can you give Christian a hand with... Mr. Lepsky, I'm so sorry, but you look the same from behind as one of our... Is the suite ready? For the diva, indeed it is. Well? I must say, I'm very anxious to meet her. All this mystery about her comeback, very intriguing. Let's have a drink, you can feel me. Tell you what, I'm gonna look at the suite first, then we'll get down to serious gossip after. <laughs> Why not put two men at her door? <laughs> Paranoid tendencies. Considers all personal security a deprivation of liberty. 
Very fragile emotional makeup. The rest of this is very confidential. Where'd you get that? Company handwriting analysts. And her five million dollar emerald, she's not going to wear it while she's here. All the suites have wall safes, for heaven's sake. I'll try to convince her. You think you can? No. Ah, here we are. This is our finest suite. I hope she'll enjoy it. Not bad, not bad. Could be the answer to all our problems. God willing. Barbara Jenkins willing. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thanks for the tour. I think we're in good shape. Ah, it's a beautiful suite. And if she puts it in the safe, we haven't got any problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the fight's over. The fight's over, all right? The police are on their way. It's just a little break and enter, huh? Nothing to do time for. Huh? You're okay so far. I'm not gonna press any charges. Genesis 18. That which was, uh, will be, uh... Insane, horrible. How did you know he was here? With all the attention that this Swede has been getting, I couldn't imagine your five star cleaning staff missing this. Even the labels are cut out. Now, you're going to have a good time with this. I am afraid our exhibit A is a little overexposed. Huh? He died with his gloves on, but I don't think his paints would have helped much anyway. No photographs are to be issued to the press. If they ask you what happened, you say it was a traffic accident. Pedestrian run over by a speeding bird cage. Do your job. What a shame. Just when the music was getting pleasurable. He did it for love. There's no doubt about it. He did it for love. It happened to me, uh, or rather to my ex fiance Oh, you've got one hell of a memory. Oh, sir, very rude. And, and, and crude. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you don't mind gathering in the restroom, I need a statement from each of you. Ladies and gentlemen, good night and thank you. Mercy! Come on, Daisy! They didn't have the time to see anything. But we might learn something from them. That the distance traveled by a falling body is equal to the square of the time taken to travel at Newton's law. I know, thank you. Open and shut. For my money, the guy is a Barbara Jenkins fan. He was casing her suite, so he could come back and grab some clothes or something, you know, something to hang on the wall. <laughs> or something to snip. 
Then why'd he jump? Makes no sense. Why do you say it makes no sense? Think about it. Outside of her secretary. Nobody has seen her for three years. That is really going to turn a loony on, huh? Wait till you've seen her. Then you'll get it. You know her? Those eyes. <sighs> One look at those eyes, and you want to dive in. Even from the seventh floor. I'm telling you, those eyes. You know her? No, of course not. I screen her, her films. I do my homework. You're a credit to the force. But that guy wasn't into eyes. I'm just not buying it. What about what he said just before we jumped? Genesis 18. Anything in that? Could be a rock group. It's not just a loony, I'll give you that. We are dealing with an illuminated loony. Will you buy that? <laughs> a suicide at the Majestic in the middle of the music festival. Talk about negative advertising. Come on, everybody knows the rooms at the Majestic are comfortable. It's just that their balcony railings are a little flimsy. What if we put her emerald in the hotel's main safe? She'll refuse. Mm. Yeah. That emerald is all she has left of Jed Kane. He was everything to her. Husband, lover, brother, agent. It was his death that made her go into exile in her castle in Sardinia. Got all this from police research department, did you? I read movie magazines. Is there a law against that? Hey, lighten up. Well, you could lighten up on that aftershave, too. You know, Barbara Jenkins doesn't arrive till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Don't put any more on until she arrives. In fact, until she leaves. Why don't we go down to the morgue? It'll be a lot funnier than you are. Hello, you've reached Carol Charon's apartment. I'm out for the moment, but if you leave a message, I'll get right back to you. Hi, uh, it's me. Um, I'm sorry about last night. Uh... Unless your name is Tom Levski, in which case I'm out for good. Nothing in the files on this guy. His face means nothing, his prints are not on record. Not even a wristwatch to trace, no papers. Nada. He shot at Genesis 18 before he jumped. It's got to mean something. Genesis verse 18. That's when Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. God's angry and Abraham can't calm him down. Maybe this kid was upset about show business morals. Kids need wholesome heroes these days. How wholesome can you get? Huh? She doesn't smoke. She drinks water. She is as clean as they come. Drives the press crazy. They've got less on her than, than we've got on him. Maybe he was a lover and she threw him out. Watch what you say about her, Lipsky. I'm just not buying this suicide. What about drugs, huh? Anything in his stomach? Sure, a pizza with everything for openers, then steak and fries, some gorgonzola, and a carafe of saint emilion Creme caramel for dessert. Not very suspicious, but... Uh, except for the saint emilion Why is that? I'd have thought... Uh, Burgundy. Or a little rosé, maybe. Ah, uh, uh, rosé. I can hear them already. The press is going to give me the third degree. I'm not strong enough for this yet. I should never have let you talk me into this, Anaïd. Everything's going to be fine, madame. It's easy for you to say. You've only been working for me for three months. I haven't had to deal with this in three years. It was in 62. The Russian countess had lost everything at the roulette table. She jumped right in front of my eyes into the pool at the Martinez. I'd been there only two days. Please shut the blinds. OK, ladies and gentlemen, I won't take up much of your time. Did any of you see this man in the hotel, in the corridors, in the kitchen, or anywhere? I am sure you all know that withholding evidence or testimony is a crime. I guess I'll 
give me a fan down the hotel. Good, not too fast. Reach for the crowd at the bottom right. Very nice, very nice. Now start zooming lightly. Now go for the truck. Very good. How are you doing? Uh, look at this. Oh. Hey, there's a guy over there by the lamp. She's got a show. She got a gun. Oh, yeah. It's one of ours. I wouldn't brag about it. Where's the Tovioni? Inside. Is he nervous? You bet. Madame, Victor Hugo spoke of an earthworm in love with a star. That's too corny. Madame, never in my entire life did I ever think. Oh hey, God. there she goes. Hey. Here we go. Here we go. Excuse me. Come on. Hello. Hello. No pictures, and I there are too many of them. She will answer your question at the press conference. Okay, okay. Give her a chance. She's gonna have the chance. Now back off! Back off! Get out! This! Back off! Back off! Your press card? Uh, 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 Tom Lebsky, International Fidelity. I'm here for the Emerald. So is everybody else. Is that the famous emerald she's wearing now? That's ludicrous. All that for a rock. A rock? I'm shooting her. Isn't she incredible? Coming out of retirement after three years to sell her gowns for AIDS research. I'm probably just a groupie, but really chokes me up. Taviani, officer in charge of your security. And uh, I must say uh, that this is the most agreeable assignment I have ever had in my career. Others have spoken about your films better than I could. But I, I wanted you to know that uh, just to be able to see you, I bought myself a videotape. You shouldn't have, Inspector. I'm very touched. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Coming, Except for the aftershave, you were perfect. I don't have a computer in here. Okay. On behalf of the Hotel Majestic, I would like to thank Miss Barbara Jenkins for honoring us with her presence. On behalf of the City of Cannes and the Midem Music Festival, I thank her for accepting to preside over tonight's benefit auction. Miss Jenkins will answer your questions now. <coughs> yes? Mark Ferry Le Figaro. Miss Jenkins, two years ago you won the Best Actress Award at the film festival here in Cannes. During that festival, you lost your husband. Which of those memories occupies your mind most today? My mind today is concentrated on the future. The music festival is in full swing and Cannes is under the lights once again. It's the perfect place to call the world's attention to what can only be seen as the plague of the 20th century. But your husband. Please, next question. Jacques Dropier, VSD. Isn't the subject of AIDS a bit heavy for someone whose films have all been rather lightweight? Lightweight artists sometimes carry more weight than heavy-handed journalists. I hope I make myself clear. Tom. Yes? Mark Paulin, Liberation. Miss Jenkins, 
It's all very well to participate in a charity benefit. I'm glad you approve, Mr. Follen. Oh, I do. But what about that emerald that you wear night and day? It's valued at five billion dollars. I know what you're getting at. This emerald happens to be part of my personal life and I have no intention of discussing it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I must admit that a four-hour boat ride from Sardinia has worn me out. I don't mind tiring myself out to answer, or for a worthy cause, but not to answer irrelevant questions. Thank you. Did you take a look at that emerald? What would you do with five million dollars, huh? <laughs> Robert? Is that you, Robert? I'm, I'm afraid you're not allowed here, miss. You really should have dialed three for room service. Anyway, how can I help you? I, I, I popped a button. Here. I can't go around like this. Do you have a needle and thread? Uh, I'm off duty, actually, but let me see if the maid's left any sewing kits behind. Here you are. Thank you. Mm. You look even better like that than you do in the uniform. Where are you going? The old man gave me an hour off. No, no, you're missing my entire look, point. I'm grateful for your brilliant intervention, but please don't go on about the emerald. That low life at the conference should be a lesson. I never to you. take it off. Well, what is it? Luck? Image? Take your pick. This jewel happens to be part of my private life, and the media has already warned me out about it. Anaid, what's on the program before the benefit? Three o'clock, we have photo session, then the pound. <laughs> what am I doing here? Babysitting for a movie star? Ocean rehearsal, then the benefit at 11 p.m. Cancel everything. I said everything I had to say at the press conference. But the interviewer is Hubert de Josselin. I don't care who it is. I'll do a medical program, but I will not help Hubert de Josselin with his gossip. Thank you, Anaïd. <sighs> She's too efficient. She gets on my nerves. She doesn't seem to understand that I've been living on an island alone for two years and I'm not on show anymore. It may sound strange, but crowds frighten me. You can't imagine how they frighten me. They frighten me too, but for different reasons. You walk around with an emerald that's worth... Oh, don't start that again. I'm sorry, but I have to. That's my job and I'd like to keep it. I don't have a castle in Sardinia. Well, that's your problem. No, my problem is that an, an actress is crazy enough to go around wearing a stone that my employer has insured for five million dollars. There are maniacs out there, lady, not to mention organized gangs, hotel lizards, you name it. It is my duty to warn you. Warn. Acknowledged. I won't bother you again. Thank you. Tom, I'd like you to stay close. I'd feel safer. That's my job, Miss Jenkins. Barbara? Bob. <sighs> Daisy. I feel as great now as I felt lousy last night. I saw the guy jump. I saw him come down from the roof. From the roof? How did he do that? Oh, forget it. I've got other things on my mind. But tell me, how did the guy come down from the roof? He came down from the roof. He was taking pictures of your bedroom. 
And when he found out he couldn't get away, he jumped. And? Well, he died, of course. Doesn't make any sense. But it proves that any nut can get in here and snatch that emerald. Help me, right in aid. I mean, help me convince Miss Jenkins here that what I'm saying makes some sense. An aid? Excuse me, I forgot something. Thanks a lot. Look, Miss Jenkins. Barbara. Do you really never take that thing off? And when he found out that he couldn't get away, he jumped. He died. They are from the camera that you knocked away from him. A room at the Majestic is not what I would call industrial espionage. But the guy killed himself, Marcel. I tell you, he was a crazy fan, period. There's something going on in this hotel. He's right. I can smell it. No, that's his aftershave. <laughs> uh -huh. Look, you two. His prints are unknown. You've got no proof, no leads. A bunch of stupid photographs. If you want to be creative, go back to the morgue and have the guy's brains analyzed. And tell me what he was thinking. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mike. Welcome aboard. One more time. Just pick a place. Okay. You're in the sixth floor service room. To the left, a dumbwaiter. Straight ahead, the service stairwell. Stash in the metal locker. Getaway corridor to the right. Mm, you've got it down, including the door to the roof. Oh, my little undercover agent, the genius. Mm. Well, what's my logistics chief doing? All set. What's this second job? Well, I'd rather split two cakes rather than one. Being greedy's put a lot of people on ice for a lot of years. Listen, when opportunity knocks, I open. Okay? Who else is gonna be at this photo session anyway? Press agent, photographer. How beautiful. No reporters, no sightseers. From a silent worshiper. I'll venture a guess. How sweet of the inspector. Ah, oh, come on, honey, don't make a big deal about nothing. <laughs> what you mean it's nothing? A lunatic got in my rabbit. That proves that a crazy person works. I'll be right back. They drink like fish. I'm sure you don't believe a member of my staff would attack a stuffed rabbit. I can assure you we will go to the bottom of this. Ah, uh, punch it, rabbit. That's no big deal. But coming through the door, oh, 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 that's a different matter. Anything missing? I would have been at police headquarters by now if there were. Did you find him this way? My husband. I always find him this way. No, I meant the rabbit. Let's just forget the whole thing. I hate scenes. We'll check into the Carlton tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. mustn't do that. The, the hotel's reputation, my reputation as the hotel manager for 30 years. No, I'll get you a new bunny, anything, madam.
Let's cancel the photo session. I think it's a bit late for that. Listen, I agreed to do this trip only for the benefit. I'm not interested in the sideshow. Mr. Levski, would you take me through the old town, please? You're the boss. Mon père a tous vos films. C'est vrai. Est-ce que je vois ma moto trop grave Est-ce que je peux me chercher après moi Absolument. Ah, pardon. Hey 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 Non, mais alors, qu'est-ce qui s'est passé They stole it Hearted, wouldn't you say? I know. Sometimes it scares me. Scares you? And Aid never makes a mistake. She takes in everything, remembers everything. People like that are terrifying. I just think human beings should give off a little warmth. I. You play with fire, I'm the one who gets burned. I'm sorry, Tom. Listen, what about a quiet little drink in your own hotel, huh? I have a place in mind, a deserted place. What about the schedule? The place I'm talking about is the reason I came out of hiding.
pas comment tu fais, tu es super. Ça me fait plaisir de te voir. Tu sais, on devrait te mettre en bouteille, tu te vendrais comme des petits pains. <rire> J'y retourne parce que tu as vu le travail. That's Michel, he used to design all my clothes. You know, I felt better back there. Really? Didn't look it. And why are you here? Hey, it's none of my business. It wasn't an accident, Tom. He left me a note and this. And I never knew why he killed himself. Maybe somebody should have stole it. Maybe that's what I'm after without even knowing it. Well, I wish you'd tell me. You know, I haven't got that many shirts. You know, I'm not as attached to the past as you may think. Tonight, I'm auctioning off the gowns from all my films. And Jed Kane chose every single one of them. This is Dmitry Vasiliev. He's opening my benefit tonight. How are you, Dimitri? I'm so happy you're opening my gala tonight. I would have preferred to close it. But the French prefer auctions to art. You haven't changed. Thank you. I was going to add, unfortunately. Hmm. Carol, where are you? Don't you think enough's enough? Yeah, yeah, I heard that message before. Barbara, I'll see you later, okay? So, you saved the star. Hey, I did it all for you. Uh, <laughs> the pickpocket's name is Jean-Pierre Vigny. Well known around here. No connection with the suicide. It's all weird. The whole thing's weird. What about it being dressed all in gray? Anything I in think that? so, but you are getting on my nerves. A guy with gray clothes kills himself. A little punk tries to steal an emerald, and somebody stabbed the stuffed rabbit. It all adds up to one thing. I'm thirsty. I'm buying. How can such a great artist be such a cynic? Well, some are cynical, and some hide away in castles. Isn't that lovely? Just think if you hadn't quit, you'd be playing concerts now. Yeah, well, if I hadn't quit, you'd still be selling women's lingerie at Gimbel's. And that crap around your neck could be plastic. You had talent, golden hands. It's, well, it's a shame. Oh. Three thousand francs a night to walk in old sandwiches. Three thousand francs a night to have your rabbit gutted. They thought room service was supposed to have cleaned up your mess during the cocktail party last night. I'm gonna have a little chat with room service. He's awfully nice, isn't he? He's just doing his job. Sometimes I don't understand you at all, and I... Cut the crap! Going around in circles here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm a democratic guy. I'm gonna give you a choice. Either tell me, or tell the cops. Fine. I saw the guy jump. I couldn't say anything. I was standing in for Robert so he could watch the game. Valley has already threatened to fire him for that. Okay, okay, that's better already. In fact, I tend to believe you.
Is it true then? Emmanuel has left us. He jumped from the seventh floor to avoid revealing anything. He died in cleanliness. And as it has been prophesied, it has come to pass. She has fallen. She has fallen, great Babylon. She has become the dwelling place of demons, the prison of impure spirits. Friends, I have news. Emmanuel, the purest of us all, has departed. Come in. Don't open it quite yet. We'll toast. Afterwards. No, we won't. You can open it yourself and drink it whenever you want. Come on, baby. I'll make you really happy. If I get into trouble, it's your fault. <clears throat> yeah. Glad I caught you. Listen, I want you to run a check on a Gerald Corbin. I got a hunch you might lead somewhere. Your hunches leave me cold. Listen, but about that stuffed rabbit, I got a real good idea. Are you bothering me for a stuffed rabbit? Well, look. All right, I'll run a check on you, on your cobbler. I have an emergency. I have to go. Creep, oh. let's go. Take back what I said about your hunches. Let's go. Well, he ain't here. No. Lipsky, go search his room instead of listening to what you already know. Sure. Lipsky, you may have something. Gerald Corbin doesn't exist. It's an alias? Not according to the computer. There is no Gerald Corbin. Not one. So who is it? Yes. So who is he? So who is he? Entree. Good evening, madame. Good evening, monsieur. What the hell's this? We didn't order any of this. Well, the manager is extremely put out about the break-in. 
and the object that was destroyed. He wishes you a wonderful evening and sends bubble of champagne with regards. How thoughtful. Please thank him for us. It's cheaper than a new goddamn rabbit. It's the thought that counts, Donny. Okay, Garcon, pour the thought. Why must you always go out of your way to be inconsiderate? After all, the manager's trying to make amends. The least we can do is be graceful about it. This one for madame. Oh, merci. And this one for monsieur. Oh, merci beaucoup. Bonsoir. Please thank the manager for us. I'm afraid I'm the only one who really understands my husband's sense of humor. What a privilege for madame. <laughs> Good night. Hey, who are you? You don't work here. You. Ah! Sayonara. <laughs> Rescue one. Back corridor. Service room to the left. First vestibule. Dumb waiter. Staircase leading to the lower floor. Another long corridor and laundry room to the left. Hall length. Okay, okay, I'll shut this place down. No one in, no one out. I'll question everyone. Enough is enough. Take it easy. Take it easy. Robert Jenkins is not a head of state, you know. I mean, what are you gonna do? Close off the whole city? How about the horse out to France, for crying out loud? I hate to interrupt your argument, but I found this in Gerald's room. His real name is Roger Bosquet. I called headquarters. He was a waiter at the Normandie in Deauville. He broke a rowdy guest's collarbone. He's been wanted for eight months. That's why he couldn't speak up. He had nothing to do with the suicide. I was wrong. False alarm. False alarm is going to jail for beating up his boss. It was not him. What? It was not him. What I like about this case is how it goes from unclear to blurry to muddy to totally obscure. <laughs> <laughs> Find this guy. Can I offer you a drink? I could use some human company. Oh, uh, well, I do. Miss Jenkins, will you be needing me anymore tonight? Are you going out? How wonderful. Mr. Lepsky will take me in his car to the theater tonight. You can take my car. Thank you, Miss Jenkins. Doesn't she usually go out? Sundays to mass. How'd you meet her? Don't you ever talk about or think about anything else but this bloody emerald? Oh. Look, Mr. Woodward. How you doing, Lepsky? What the hell am I doing here? What you doing there is you watching that emerald for us. It's not my job. There ain't gonna be no job you she don't want me around her, and I don't want to be around her either. Listen to me, Lepsky. I'm telling you straight from the Hold on. I'll get back to you. Quite a move. Champagne only. Okay. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, quick. Get, get a shot. 
Quick, quick, quick. Mr. Vasiliev, please. Mr. Vasiliev, over here. Here's your violin. Can we have a stick with you? Time to go, sweetie. Kane. Come on, Daisy. The door. Moonlight in Vermont! Hey, back off, huh? I am sorry, Miss Jenkins. I, I can't make it to your benefit. Things are getting complicated around here. We need to talk shop now. Not you may stay with Madame. Come on. I'll be back in a minute. Gerald's nowhere to be found. And neither is the guy who hit Valier. I'm forgetting about the suicide, but you keep your eye on that emerald. I got a hunch that this whole thing is connected. Enough hunches, Lepsky, enough. Okay, fine. We're off to the theater. Some people get all the good jobs. Huh? You know, it's a good thing life isn't fair. Otherwise, you wouldn't get anywhere. Well, that must be very profound. I'll think about it. Hello? Mr. Warrington, your car is ready. Nah. Just let the car go. It is reserved. I'll pay the waiting fee. No, we decided to stay in. Have a nice evening. Mercy be Sevilla. It's the reason why all the girls in Paris started to adopt the flamenco style. I'm afraid I was responsible for a lot of chest colds. <laughs> I can't wait to be back on my island. You could auction that. It's too soon yet.
Thank you all so much for being so generous tonight. If I'm auctioning off my past, it's so others can have a future. And thank you all for helping. Inspector Ottavioni, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Is there something I can have? Like what? I don't know. I missed dinner. back by now. Maybe she got lucky. I don't think so. She's afraid of men. And she's not the only one. the matter? I promised that Taviani I'd call him. <laughs> Knitting, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm coming! Yeah. It's me here. No, nothing new. Except for a recipe for a braised snapper with apples. <laughs> But it's too late for that now. I'll make you one. Thanks, I'm not hungry. Besides, I heard that recipe. Well, look who got what he was after. Hang up, or you're a dead man. What is it, the emerald you want? Dial room 306. There's a TV crew there. Wake them up. Tell them the purifiers have a statement to make. That we've got Barbara Jenkins. So they'd better come fast.
Now, Chief, I'm sorry to wake you, but, but that crazy sect, the Purifiers, yes, the ones uh, who stabbed the homosexuals in Central Bay, they are holding Barbara Jenkins and Tom Lepsky. I need a SWAT team at the Majestic right away. It's a mess. A goddamn mess. Give me the old man outfit. Quick! You are too greedy. Never. Hubert de Jocelyn, I'm being held at gunpoint as I speak to you. Otherwise, I assure you that... Enough! I'll do the talking. It's like Babylon all over again. Wherever one turns, one finds dirt, corruption and decay. All that money and effort for what? To save the corrupt? Spare the filth? The only salvation is destruction. Cut! They'll never broadcast the nonsense! <laughs> that tape isn't broadcast on the evening news. It's their turn. That's from Emmanuel, whom you forced into martyrdom. Right, Danielle? Right. Take them out. Go. Well, I think she means business. Listen to the tone of voice, look at the body language, the gestures, cold-blooded fanatic. I guess she's also a bit suicidal. I wouldn't be surprised if she wants something to go wrong. Like that maniac who spouted the Bible when he jumped. Uh -huh. No, Handsome demanded. All they want is to have their so-called statement broadcast tonight. That leaves us about 15 hours to act. There must be an escape vehicle. Let them take it. It will be easier out of the hotel. Makes sense. Okay, Ottaviani, it's your ball game. Let me know if you need anything else. Please, please. Please. I have to play in London and we'll explain to you I need my rent. Please. I want yes, another room. Please, please mister. Go down in the lobby, please. Thank you. Mm. Why don't you get him some medical attention? He might have a chance. Another word from either of you, and I'll finish him off. Mister, we are sorry. We have very strict orders. All the clients of the hotel must go this way. Uh, keep going. Nobody is going inside. I have to pick up an old man. He's got a plane to catch. The old man is going to stay inside like everyone. That's him right there. He's waiting for me. Keep moving. Get out of my hair, otherwise I'll take you in. Okay. Get out. I must get outside! This way, please. Something woke me. I don't know what time it was, but I'm sure I heard a shot. If I don't get some sleep, I have no idea I'm going to do this. But I have to play in London tomorrow night. I have to go and feed my business. Mrs. Campbell! Mrs. Campbell! I want to see the manager! Well, the waiter said the hotel sent it. Jenny was wearing all her best jewelry. My head suddenly went cold. I lost all energy. Blackout. I hadn't even been drinking. Much. Donnie. Those jewels. All those memories. All your successes. I feel so terrible about it. Don't worry about it, darling. Don't worry.
Let's go. Come on. All right, all right. If she is still holding that grenade, we don't move, huh? Is that clear? We don't move. There's another nice mess you got me into, Marcel. She's all right. Give up now. You'll never get away with it. You want to bet? If that tape isn't on the evening news, keep a sharp here for the explosion. Helicopter standing by. Follow them! Ladies and gentlemen, my dear guests, first, I want to thank you and to congratulate you for your remarkable composure. I'm afraid I have one more request to make of you, for which I apologize in advance. Two guests were the victims of a major robbery. We are thus obliged to search every one of you what? before you leave or check out. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience that I know this will cause you, but I do hope you will be able to accept it graciously. This won't be any more painful than going through customs. Come and take it easy.
think we're Boy Scouts. They want us to, to believe they are still in the tunnel. The man is in that truck. Block the Route 6, north of the coast. Go! Everybody out. Oh. They must still be in the tunnel. I see to show up. How about a lift back up the hill? The lady dropped something. The movie you've just seen is Barbara Jenkins' latest film. Barbara, I know that there are millions of television viewers out there showing our thrill of knowing that they'll be able to see you very shortly in your latest film, Have a Nice Night. Before we talk a little more about that, what made you suddenly decide to go back into public life a little more? Well, it's very simple. I gave up knitting, took up riding, swimming and bicycling. She doesn't ever take off her emeralds. I have the slightest idea. So the, the poker game, uh, is it for today or for hey. tomorrow? Hey, oh, Lepsky, hey, Lepsky, your, your wow. phone in your car. Hey. Oh, that's for me. Oh. So I feel good. All right, nothing. Me here. Hi. I agree. We were both silly. No, I'm not working. Uh, I'm playing cards. <laughs> Where is the key to solve this mystery? Where are the clues to help? This 
this game of hit and guess requires finesse. A little touch of Takes a bit.